If you want the ultimate, most gangster barbecue you could have, it's Parks Barbecue. They are known for being the destination for celebrities. Anthony Bourdain comes here all the time. The reason why it's so great is they do every little detail perfectly, from the panchan all the way to the quality of the meat, and they even have amazing American Wagyu beef. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna meet my buddy Frank, who's one of my best friends in the world, and honestly, one of the connoisseurs of Korean barbecue. This is the original. This is the very regal, classic UK. This is my favorite thing from the when I was young. Uh, obviously, it's not very accessible, you know, when you're not, you know, full of money. But it, this is, you know, Korean version of beef tartare, pretty much. Uh, UK, we call it. Soy sauce, garlic, sesame oil. We're gonna have a, someone come in here and mix it for us. Um, and Table side. Have, oh, exactly. I think this is the only Korean dish where it's actually raw. Mm -hmm. When you're really eating raw beef. Right, right. For for Koreans, raw dish wasn't too popular in the beginning. Well, even before sushi, people didn't really eat raw meat. Yeah. Fish, yes, but meat, no. It has to be the highest quality. It is. It has to be fresh. It has to be straight from the market. I remember eating this dish growing up at only the high-end restaurants in Los Angeles, and I felt like a king, and I'm 10 years old. Some people say egg yolk kind of covers up a lot of the pure beef taste, so they some people do without it. However, it became more of a uh, tradition thing where when restaurants start doing it, uh, a lot more people start doing it more. Uh, they like the coated kind of feeling, egg yolk, rich egg yolk feeling. I mean, an egg rarely makes something worse. Exactly. The smell is great. Oh yeah. Just that the nuttiness of that sesame oil coating it with the egg. Oh, we got some cucumbers, Korean pear, very sweet, very different from uh, uh, North American ones. The candy just makes everything so much savor and just wraps it all together really nicely, easier to eat. Boy, that tastes really good. Oh, man. The beef has a richness, but it's not overly fatty, which is good. So you get, you get the beefiness, but I think with soy and sesame, they really complement it much nicer. Right. It doesn't mask that flavor of the meat. It actually has the flavor of basically bulgogi. Oh yeah. You know, it's like bulgogi yeah. marinade. It's amazing. Look at that marbling. This is this is great. <laughs> this is one of like life's supreme pleasures. You can see the fat just immediately running off, like right here. I mean, there is a lot in there, but because it's so thinly cut and because it's, you know, we're gonna eat it immediately, it, that fat's gonna stay in the meat. I usually like to wrap the meat with uh, our, we have a lot of greens like uh, lettuce. Like watercress? Yeah, and then yeah. we have some cilantro and uh, uh, kenyip too. But uh, first piece I think we gotta try without any of those. Just a little dip of salt. Yeah. There's some toasted sesame seeds in here. When the fat just coats your entire mouth, the flavor just runs down your throat. What's wonderful is the fat, it immediately coats your palate. It has a slight grassiness. Uh -huh. The meat is just like, it's deep. The cut is actually a special way of going through short rib. Right. So we're actually having short rib, which is a tr traditional kalbi cut. Right. Look at that, it's just dripping. <laughs> I want to catch it. <laughs> so let's get some lettuce here. There's a little bit of the bitterness right here. This is a lot of vegetable for one small meat, but I don't care. Why don't you just take three pieces of meat? Okay. <laughs> some samjang. Will this fit in my mouth? Mmm. That's too good. It's musa. Reddish scallion uh, green onion salad. It's just so immediately gratifying. You know, like Great. eat it and it just puts freaking smile on your face. Their house special marinated prime short rib. Mm -hmm. So Yang Yang Galbi is pretty much uh, the w most well-known cream barbecue for you know most people. So it's not a long strip of meat that we're eating. We're, they're actually flaying the meat around the bone.
They marinate this for two days. And it has soy sauce, garlic, plenty of garlic, and many other herbs that they, you know, they're probably don't, not gonna tell us. But as you can see, it's like a, it's like a gift. Right, our server's gonna- and pearls, you look at that. So there's a sugar component to this marinade. Yeah. Um, but some Koreans uh, nowadays at home or restaurant, they sometimes use Coca-Cola to give the color and the sweetness at the same time. I hope it works out really well. <laughs> Park's barbecue, they're special compared to other Korean barbecue in LA, is that they actually have charcoal in between the meat and the gas source, so that the flavor of charcoal really goes into your food. I want that fat to drip onto those coals. Now we have rice paper. What I like about this is that it really challenges your chopstick skills. It gets you one perfect uh, strip off. That's it's all good. Get that and easy for me. <laughs> Tell me about like how it was when you came to America, and uh -huh. you came when you were like, like 12, right? Yeah, 12. Uh, eating meat, especially beef, is definitely a rare occasion for me back in the days, especially um, because one, it's expensive. Two, it's just reserved for a special day. When I came here, especially when Korean barbecue started booming in LA, and all you can eat kind of culture started coming out, it's kind of culture shock just because. Beef itself is so readily available, and it's not that expensive. All right, look at that. Mm. Oh, the one thing I really like about Kai beef is really never overly sweet. It's just the sweetness, just just like the other uh, other stuff that we had, like yukhe. Nothing really overpowers like, the true flavor of the meat. It just only complements. Something about the, about the marinade that breaks down the the fat and the meat. I I I, like I find myself barely le needing to chew, which is incredible. Like for effortless. I'm gonna follow, dude. That is so so good. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna go for the best piece. Now we usually when we were young we used to say this for my dad. The meat on the bone. Legend, dude. Same flavor, but you get the texture from the me uh, the membrane that's stuck in the bone. Oh! Thank you so much for watching my Koreatown adventures, and if you want to see more, click right here.